Hello viewers, welcome to Ewing TV, a station where you watch, interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are on Form 3 work, lesson 8. And the topic is livestock production 4. Today's with livestock uh, rearing uh, practices. And the subtopic is the routine livestock rearing practices. But in this subtopic, we are going to tackle only the feeding only. Then uh, we go to the lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain uh, and also define the term routine. Uh, the term routine. The second one, explain uh, or highlight the various uh, routine uh, livestock rearing uh, practices. Uh, then we have uh, their various uh, routine rearing practices, uh, which uh, include the following: number one, feeding; uh, two, parasite and disease control; three breeding practices, four, identification, five, bee beaking, uh, six, uh, tooth clipping, uh, seven, culling, uh, eight, uh, we have dehorning, uh, nine, we have shearing, and ten, we have castration. And therefore, we are going to uh, tackle feeding, and there are three types of uh, feeding periods. And the first one is referred to as flushing, and the second one is steaming up, and the third one is creep feeding. What is flushing? Flushing refers to the period uh, uh, of uh, the period where during service time, uh, whereby you are required to uh, provide a highly nutritive feed to the uh, livestock, uh, so that you can facilitate. Uh, uh, conception. Then the second one we have steaming up during a uh, parturition time where the creep feeding it uh, means that uh, feeding of the young one or raising the young one uh, from the day one up to the time of weaning. What are the importance of flushing? Uh, this feed which is uh, highly nutritive it is provided to serve the following to the animal. Number one, increase the conception rate or the rate of conception. And number two, facilitate implantation of zygote. And number three, uh, it increases the lambing percentage, especially in, uh, in sheep. Uh, you find that if you uh, do flash feeding, it means that uh, the, 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 the sheep will uh, conceive uh, Try or tet uh, or tetra, uh, it may end up giving uh, uh, four uh, lumps at the, the, the same uh, at, at, by the end of the, the gestation period. And we have uh, importance of uh, steaming up. Uh, the steaming up, remember, I have said it is the period where you are supposed to give an animal a uh, highly nutritive uh, feed during uh, the, during time of parturition or about two weeks to parturition. What are the importance of steaming up? Steaming up facilitate the foetus uh, growth and development and also build up of energy for parturition. The animal or the cow will have enough energy which will be used during the time of parturition. Then the third one, we have boost health, the health of the foetus uh, or the, the health of the features which is developing within the womb. Then number four, promote good health of the mother. And therefore, if you, uh, you do uh, the steaming up, it means that the cow, the pregnant cow will uh, have a good health. Then we have increases uh, milk, uh, uh, increases and maintain milk production levels. And therefore, if you do uh, the steaming up, it means that uh, the food will contribute to an increase in milk production. Then uh, we have come to the end of today's lesson, and I will mark at uh, the end of this lesson by giving you an assignment. The first question is define the following terms as used in livestock production. The first one, flushing and the second one be uh, steaming up and the second question highlight any three importance of steaming up i repeat again highlight any three importance 
of steaming up. For reference, you can refer from the secondary agriculture, uh, student book three, and the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, you can reach us at Erim TV using the following addresses. And the first one, you can use the SMS using the number which is well displayed for you. Then you can use the YouTube at Erim TV. Moreover, you can use the Facebook platform at Erim TV. And finally, you can use a Twitter at Erim TV uh, underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Till next lesson, goodbye.